Bring Aaron your brother and his sons with him, near to you from among the children of Israel, that he may minister to me in the priest's office. Even Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, Aaron's sons, you shall make holy garments for Aaron your brother for glory and for beauty. You shall speak to all who are wise-hearted, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, that they make Aaron's garments to sanctify him, that he may minister to me in the priest's office. These are the garments which they shall make, a breastplate and an ephod and a robe and a coat of checkerwork, a turban and a sash. And they shall make holy garments for Aaron your brother and his sons, that he may minister to me in the priest's office. They shall take the gold and the blue and the purple and the scarlet and the fine linen. They shall make the ephod of gold, of blue and purple, scarlet and fine twined linen, the work of the skillful workman. It shall have two shoulder straps joined to the two ends of it, that it may be joined together. The skillfully woven band, which is on it, that is on him shall be like its work and of the same piece of gold of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen you shall take two onyx stones and engrave on them the names of the children of Israel six of their names on the one stone and the names of the six that remain on the other stone in the order of their birth with the work of an engraver in stone like the engravings of a signet shall you engrave the two stones according to the names of the children of Israel. You shall make them to be enclosed in settings of gold. You shall put the two stones on the shoulder straps of the ephod to be stones of memorial for the children of Israel, and Aaron shall bear their names before Yahweh on his two shoulders for a memorial. You shall make settings of gold and two chains of pure gold. You shall make them like cords of braided work and you shall put the braided chains on the settings. You shall make a breastplate of judgment, the work of the skillful workman. Like the work of the ephod you shall make it. Of gold, of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen shall you make it. It shall be square and folded double. A span shall be its length of it, and a span its breadth. You shall set in it settings of stones, four rows of stones, a row of ruby, topaz, and beryl shall be the first row, and the second row a turquoise, a sapphire, and an emerald, and the third row a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst, and the fourth row a chrysolite, an onyx, and a jasper. They shall be enclosed in gold in their settings. The stones shall be according to the names of the children of Israel, twelve according to their names. Like the engravings of a signet, everyone according to his name, they shall be for the twelve tribes. You shall make on the breastplate chains like cords of braided work of pure gold. You shall make on the breastplate two rings of gold and shall put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. You shall put the two braided chains of gold in the two rings at the ends of the breastplate. The other two ends of the two braided chains you shall put on the two settings and put them on the shoulder straps of the ephod in the fore part of it. You shall make two rings of gold and you shall put them on the two ends of the breastplate, on its edge, which is toward the side of the ephod inward. You shall make two rings of gold, and shall put them on the two shoulder straps of the ephod underneath, in the forepart of it, close by the coupling of it, above the skillfully woven band of the ephod. They shall bind the breastplate by the rings of it to the rings of the ephod, with a lace of blue, that it may be on the skillfully woven band of the ephod, and that the breastplate may not swing out from the ephod. Aaron shall bear the names of the children of Israel in the breastplate of judgment on his heart when he goes into the holy place for a memorial before Yahweh continually. You shall put in the breastplate of judgment the Urim and the Thummim, and they shall be on Aaron's heart when he goes in before Yahweh. And Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Israel on his heart before Yahweh continually. You shall make the robe of the ephod all of blue. It shall have a hole for the head in the midst of it. It shall have a binding of woven work round about the hole of it as it were the hole of a coat of mail, that it not be torn. On its hem you shall make pomegranates of blue and of purple and of scarlet around its hem, and bells of gold between them round about 
a golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate, on the hem of the robe round about. It shall be on Aaron to minister, and the sound of it shall be heard when he goes in to the holy place before Yahweh, and when he comes out, that he not die. You shall make a plate of pure gold and engrave on it, like the engravings of a signet, holy to Yahweh. You shall put it on a lace of blue, and it shall be on the sash. On the front of the sash it shall be. It shall be on Aaron's forehead, and Aaron shall bear the iniquity of the holy things, which the children of Israel shall make holy in all their holy gifts. And it shall be always on his forehead, that they may be accepted before Yahweh. You shall weave the coat in checker work of fine linen, and you shall make a turban of fine linen, and you shall make a sash, the work of the embroiderer. You shall make coats for Aaron's sons, and you shall make sashes for them, and headbands shall you make for them, for glory and for beauty. You shall put them on Aaron your brother, and on his sons with him, and shall anoint them and consecrate them and sanctify them, that they may minister to me in the priest's office. You shall make them linen breeches to cover the flesh of their nakedness. From the waist, even to the thighs they shall reach. They shall be on Aaron and on his sons when they go in to the tent of meeting, or when they come near to the altar to minister in the holy place, that they don't bear iniquity and die. It shall be a statute forever to him and to his descendants after him.